Magic has kept humans captivated for centuries, and there seems to be no slowing down. From card tricks to escapology, every form of magic is mesmerizing in its own right. A lot has changed in the field of magic over the years, with the introduction of new technology, but what remains unchanged is our desire for more. Together with knowledge of magic and swiftness of movements, many people have earned a living and a few have claimed a spot in history. Well, since they have put their lives on the line to entertain us, how can we snatch the spotlight from them? So, like a little tribute, we present to you the names that have carved the road of magic that will continue to inspire us. Number 1. David Copperfield If Forbes has called someone the most commercially successful illusionist in history, the person cannot be missed. We're talking about the man who sawed singer and actress Jennifer Lopez into six pieces for his performance. Isn't it amazing how Copperfield's television specials have won 21 Emmy Awards out of a total 38 nominations? In the 40 years of his career, Copperfield has earned 11 Guinness World Records, a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, a knighthood by the French government, and has been named a living legend by the U.S. Library of Congress. If this is not success, what is? Number 2. Cardini Richard Valentine Pitchford, born in 1895, was a master magician under the name Cardini. While he served in the British Army during World War I, he practiced card manipulations, and his experience with cards in hostile conditions enabled him to maneuver cards with gloved hands. Some of the great moments in his career included his performance in 1938 for King George V and the moment where he became president of the Magicians Guild in 1945. He was honored in 1970 with the title Master Magician and one of Magic Magazine's top magicians of the 20th century in 1999. Enough accomplishments to keep him alive in our memories. Number 3. Tony Slidini Born in 1901, Slidini became a world-renowned magician due to his mastery, expertise, originality, and innovative approach to close-up artistry. He not only traveled to perform his magic tricks, but also to lecture fellow magicians. He received the highest honors that his profession could bestow, including both the coveted Master's Fellowship Award and Performing Fellowship Award from the Academy of Magical Arts. If anything was left, he was also inducted into the Society of American Magicians Hall of Fame as a living legend. Seems like all doubts about his talent have vanished. Number 4. Dave Vernon Better known as The Professor, this Canadian magician was born as David Frederick Wingfield Verner in 1894. His expert sleight-of-hand technique and extensive knowledge, particularly with card tricks and close-up magic, garnered him respect among fellow magicians. He performed his first trick at the age of seven and felt that he had wasted six years of his life. As a young man, he met the magician Cliff Green, who asked him what kind of magic he did. Vernon responded by asking him to name a card. On hearing his pick, he took out a card deck from his pocket and turned over the top card of the deck to reveal the named card and replied to the speechless Green, that's the kind of magic I do. Number 5. Harry Houdini Born as Eric Weiss in 1874, this Austro-Hungarian-born American illusionist and stunt performer had the stage name of Harry Houdini. Though he stepped into the world of magic with cards in his hands, he found fame as an escape artist. His comfort with handcuffs landed him many shows, and soon he upgraded to being buried alive from where he emerged in a state of near breakdown. Man, that is thrilling! Apart from performing magic, Houdini would expose fraudulent artists and sue anyone who imitated his escape stunts. Is that how he reached the top? Number 6. Harry Blackstone Jr. We're talking about the American stage magician who is estimated to have pulled out 80,000 rabbits from his sleeves and hats. But when you are the son of a great magician, such things come to you naturally. What can you say? At the time of his death, he was the most awarded magician of all time. What more proof of his talents do you need? We'd never forget him because after he died at the age of 62 in 1997, his magic equipment was auctioned, which still sees the stage but with different magicians. Number 7. Ricky J. When you are performing a full magic act on TV at the age of 4, you know that magic is your destiny. Born in 1948, Ricky J is known for card tricks, memory feats, and stage patter. But the best compliment he got was from Mark Singer, who called Jay perhaps the most gifted sleight-of-hand artist alive. He was so good that he baffled his colleagues with his cult magical skills. He once held the Guinness record for throwing a playing card 190 feet at 90 miles per hour. Another big thing to his name is that he can even cut the card in clear half with giant scissors when it returned after a boomerang throw. Number 8. Darren Brown 
There is little to no chance that you have not heard about this English mentalist and illusionist. After all, he is featured in not one, but many TV shows. The man has magic in his blood, and that can be seen clearly through his performances where he uses hypnosis, cognitive psychology, cold reading, and psychological, subliminal, and ideomotor suggestion. It is believed that the real methods that he uses to perform a trick are different from what he suggests, but since the results are unbelievable, we don't mind. Another interesting thing about Brown is that he has a thing for writing books about magic. Cool. Number 9. Dante This magician from Denmark was born as Harry August Jensen, but traveled the world as a professional magician under the name Dante the Magician. He, along with his troupe, consisting of 25 to 40 performers, made several global trips and appeared in many U.S. theaters. He had his own style of magic that consisted of his stage trademark to utter three words, Sim Sala Bim. He was so loved that when he died of a heart attack at the age of 71, it was said that the golden age of magic had come to an end. Number 10. Jean-Eugene Robert Houdin How can we skip the father of the modern style of conjuring from this list? Born in 1805, this French magician has a rather interesting story behind his profession. He was a watchmaker, but when his ordered books on watchmaking got accidentally exchanged for magic books, his interest in the art rose. Destiny is all we can call it. Robert Houdin's most famous trick was called Second Sight. He would walk through the audience, touching random items. A blindfolded assistant would then describe each item in detail. Now that's cool! Which of these great magicians do you wish you had seen perform live? Tell us in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel if you liked this video. And while you're here, check out our other videos and tell us what you think of them. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks for watching.